Teachers of Reddit, have you ever been attracted to a student? If so, how did you handle it? Yup. I have been attracted to just about all of my female students. They dress so mature, and so provocatively to not notice. It's not like I have ever tried to pursue anything with them. I mean I would try, if they were a few years older, and not my students. It's hard teaching kindergarten. Was not a teacher for long, but no, absolutely not. They were 9th graders. I was 22 to 24. Did I think, AWW, so and so is nice looking, and will grow up, to be cute slash pretty, sure. But knowing their personalities, they're babies. There is nothing attractive about their immaturity level, and it makes them even less attractive when they hit on you. 9th graders ain't got no game. My high school gym teacher and football coach banged many of the girls I went to school with. Apparently at the school he taught at, before he proposed to a girl, after she walked across the stage at graduation. She was 19. IDK why my school hired him. He ended up having sex with a 17 year old at my school. Now he's doing 7 years. A gym teacher at my high school, banged his 18 year old student. He's married and has kids. For a while it was just a rumor, but during gym class one day, a kid was taunting him about it, and he shouted in front of everyone she was 18. Yeah. Edit. He wasn't fired but a teacher who got pregnant out of wedlock was. Oh the joys of going to a catholic school. This question's been asked a bunch of times. Here's the best answer emo. Yeah. Of course. As a high school teacher, you're surrounded by nubile young people all day. As long as it doesn't affect your judgment, and, ick now, obviously you don't do anything about it, there's no problem admitting, that pretty girls are pretty. I mean, they're teenagers, so they act like terrible people, but they sure look good. TL, doctor, of course, just don't act on it. Teacher here. I teach junior high, so no, I don't find them attractive. I can tell which ones are going to be attractive adults and some are already on their way there. Junior high kids can look quite mature. Visiting the high school across the street, I find myself appreciating kids looks more often than at my school, but again in a you're going to be very handsome in a few years way. Plus, most of them open their mouths and become the least appealing people on the planet. My wife's sister married her high school government teacher after she graduated from college. I wondered if he was attracted to her when he taught her. Recently, he told me about how he and other male teachers would choose the hottest, most scantily dressed girls to deliver each other messages, to this day. That answered whether or not he found his future wife attractive at the time. Yes, when I was teaching college students, I was attracted at one point or another to just about all the well-dressed attractive students. How can I not be attracted to a sexy, excessively jiggly, 19 year old dressed in very tight clothes? I just tried to not check them out too obviously and not act on it, and hide my boners when I taught. This was made harder by the fact that a lot of these students had crushes on me and were only a few years younger than me. Oh to be a white person in Asia. I taught college freshmen when I was a grad student, so it wouldn't have been illegal to date a student, but it would have gone against my contract and gotten me kicked out of the grad program. I was in love with one of my students. So smart, so cute, flirted with me all the time. Always came to my open office hours. In the end, I dealt with it by giving her an A, even though she deserved a B. I can already see it coming. I'm not a teacher, but the cousin of my great grandmother's best friend married her math teacher. Everyone was shocked, and her parents tried to get the police involved numerous times. As soon as she turned 18 and graduated high school, the two got married and moved to Antarctica. Probably gonna be buried, but I was in a relationship with my high school gym teacher for a few years, while I was still in school. I'd say I matured early, so at the age of 17 I looked about 20 over 21. He was in his late 20s, early 30s when we started dating. I was attracted to him, he was attracted to me. We just gravitated towards each other. My former maths teacher is pretty much the extremely serious and strict teacher who shouts at students when they didn't pay attention etc. He fucked his student who was 18 y slash o. At this time he was approximate. 22 y slash o and only an intern at a catholic high school. Married her and now has two daughters with her. Both are approximate. 
15 y slash o. He's still teacher, where he met his wife. Our head principal married a graduated student, the history teachers both married former students, and two football coaches have students with benefits in the girls varsity locker room. It's funny seeing 50 something year old men with 4 and 5 year old children. TL. Doctor only when it becomes legal. University instructor here. Yeah, no doubt. But I'm sort of at the point, where even first year students seem considerably too young. So while my current class of first years had some very attractive gals, not like I'd do anything with them. Juniors slash seniors, on the other hand, would make that tempting. I'm only a couple years older than they are. Still, map, I'll just find a grad student or a student I'm not teaching. When I'd had some undergrad courses I was tempted. Very tempted. At that age and point in their life women are so accessible. They just got out of their house and are ready to sow their wild oats. I was in a relationship and never cheated though. But I remember watching a lot of those cheesy college reality pornos though. Just finished my student teaching semester. I was attracted to one of my female students who was a senior. She was very pretty and nice and came almost every day during study hall for help on chemistry homework. I never acted on it at all, and had to consciously not check her out sometimes. I only told my best friend, one of the few people, that know my homosexual tendencies, and my boyfriend. See how complicated that emotion was. TL. Doctor, student teacher me had a lady boner for a cute redhead Amy Pond clone. First let me stipulate, I teach adults. So not children. Second, while I do get attractive students every now and then. Something about my interactions with them makes any attraction I have for them die pretty quickly. With the way students have to interact with you, it's a semi-parental role. And the students just seem childish. I can't be attracted to them in a meaningful way. Those of you who are supervisors, and have really close relationships with your subordinates, might know what I'm talking about. There is a clear separation emotionally, socially, and professionally. People who get in that role may be well liked, but we are never really part of the group, and thus to be attracted to that group member your emotions get watered down. One side effect I have seen though, even though I can not actually become attracted to one of my students, though I do identify as attractive, they tend to alter my tastes in women. I see someone outside my college who I find instantly familiar and attractive, and only later do I realize that I'm drawn to them, because they have some form of similarity with a student I have recently had. Some form of smile, shape of an eye, quirking of a facial expression, hairstyle, etc. I teach at a university, and sure, it happens. It's really not that hard to deal with. You just recognize that any attraction you feel is a surface attraction, and it wouldn't actually make you happy to pursue it, particularly since it would mean the end of your career. After a while, you stop really noticing. I liken it to working at the Louvre. You may walking around every day at work saying, wow, that is a beautiful piece of artwork. However, if you really think the matter through, that artwork really doesn't belong in your house. My school has this program where instead of going to school the last two months we can get an internship. I'm currently studying to be a teacher, so for my internship I elected to teach at my own school a freshman history class with a teacher, whom I was very close with. Being a senior at the time, I knew many of the students in the class, and some although young were incredibly attractive. My sister who was the same age would tell me all these stories, of what these young girls were saying about me, and honestly it was pretty hard to resist following up seeing as I was 17 at the time and most of them were 15. Nothing ever happened, but it was nice to think about. I was a young teacher and the subject of one of my students fantasy. She wanted me so badly, and she knew she'd be a secret fling. You could tell she had a longing, she was an open book. She had to be half my age. Even though I tried not to, it always seemed I was spending more time with her than my other students. This made her friends jealous, but you know how bad girls get, it's not easy to be seen as the teacher's pet. It was tempting, frustrating, there were times I'd break down crying, because of the stress. I remember driving by her at the bus stop one day, she was soaked to the bone, and here I was in my warm dry car. It was all I could do not to offer her a lift. Soon after that, students started talking about us, like they knew we were up to something. 
Honestly, I think they were just trying to get a reaction, trying to hurt her. At the same time, some of the faculty would hint at the two of us having an affair. They'd even make accusations, even though neither of us had acted on anything. It got to the point where I'd actually start shaking when I saw her. I would pretend to cough into my sleeve so I could break eye contact and walk past her. I transferred out of that school in May and took a teaching job in another town. I've never been so aggressively pursued by another student again. But once was more than enough. TL. Doctor. Don't stand so close to me. 28 slash M teacher here. Yes. I have been attracted to students. I've been teaching for about 6 years and I've taught freshmen through juniors in that time. There have been a few students who have been beautiful students. Very pretty girls. Some of them are runway model type girls. Some of them have been blessed with very large, very nice breasts. A few have awesome asses. The occasional one or two combines these things with a nice personality. Here's the thing though, I may find students attractive, but I understand one simple fact. They are students and I'm the teacher. As a 22 year old, I was teaching 16 to 17 year olds as juniors. Now that's only 5-6 years, which isn't that odd. My uncle married a lady 10 years younger than him, but the life experiences that I had as a 22 year old and the life experiences they had as 16 year olds are very different. Just because they are attractive means nothing. I'm married and I'll mention students to my wife and occasionally tell her how they are quite pretty, etc. How I can see they would be a distraction to other students. She understands this. People are attractive. You simply recognize that and don't act on it. While not a professional teacher, I was an after school teacher slash tutor at some education center for two years. There was this 16 year old girl who was pretty attractive and would kind of give hints. Didn't do anything with her. Also in my old high school, a teacher banged a freshman girl in a car at a beach, got arrested, spent couple of years in jail, his wife divorced him, and he winded up marrying the student, after he got out of jail and she became 18. One of my best friends fell in love with a teacher in high school. He fell in love with her too. Her mom approved, they never did anything inside school, maintaining a strict teacher-student relationship when in school grounds. It was kept secret for a while, until some students saw them together at an Iron Maiden concert. Due to the outcries of outraged parents of other children, he had to be reallocated to another school. People kept saying she was being a whore who wanted to bang him for good grades, and that he was a pedo, and that this relationship was going to end badly for both. Well, jokes on them, they've been together for 3 years now, and she recently invited me to be something equivalent of her best man for when they marry, which will be, as soon as she graduates college. TL, doctor, relationships between a teacher and a student aren't necessarily something terrible, and people judge too much. Not a student or teacher, but I came home one day to hear my wife, Nikki, and I's wedding song playing, her clothes and some other guy's clothes strewn across the floor. I walked upstairs and there she was, in the shower with the history teacher from the high school they both worked at. I beat the shit out of him, and was sent to a mental facility. My mom made a deal with the courts, so I could come home early, and while at my buddy's house for dinner, I met his wife's younger sister, a former sex addict. After a few interesting fights we decided to do a dance together as part of her interests and part of my dad's superstitions and bets on a football game. We got the necessary score, and won the bet, and I told her I loved her and we kissed. As a teacher, I can never see my students beyond being children. I actually ended a relationship with another teacher, after I found out he dated one of his students. He tried to justify the situation, because he was a student teacher, 22, and she was 18. Which meant he was never her real teacher. I was so utterly disgusted by the situation. It is expected that most teachers only spend time with students professionally. For example not hanging out with students outside of school or driving them home unless you are a family friend with parental consent. This is because in my state, Connecticut, having any kind of sexual relationship with a student is a class C felony. Source, CGS seconds. 53 or 71, sexual assault in the second degree. I teach at a university. I'm attracted to my students all the time. I don't do anything about it. I used to teach at a high school. I'd occasionally be attracted to students there. 
I didn't do anything about that either. I have to confess that I don't really get your question. Asking, have you ever been attracted to a student? To me, is like asking, are you a human being? Everyone has various attractions that's part of being human. But, being a teacher, at least in the US, means that you are agreeing to abide by certain rules and regulations. Every state has some version of a code of ethics that you have to agree to in order to achieve teacher licensure for K-12 education, and all of those have some version of don't mess with your students. So, if you are agreeing to be a teacher, you're agreeing that, if you are attracted to a student, you will never act on that, in any fashion. When I was teaching high school, I never gave even the slightest inkling that I was attracted to any student. As far as those kids were concerned, I was a fucking monk, totally celibate and asexual. That's what the job requires. And that's fine. You don't talk about it, you don't acknowledge it, it has no bearing no what you are doing every day. And if you can't get through your day without holding your tongue, when you want to comment on someone's looks, you should get out of teaching.